Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I certainly do appreciate it. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Uh, today's beer comes from Panther Island Brewing. They're out of Texas. This is Sweet Bang. This was sent to me by Mr. Walton. Uh, this is a 6 percent alcohol by volume. Beer Advocate has it listed as a 4.7. Uh, they're smoking some good shit there. Over to Untap, they have it at 6%, 25 IBUs, chocolate peanut butter milk stout. I didn't see that written on there. Uh, chocolate peanut butter aroma, lactose health with a creamy mouthfeel, and Reese's peanut butter cup flavors. Sounds like a very tasty beer, guys. Uh, what sounds like a dessert beer in a glass, but it's a six percenter. I don't buy six percent stouts, uh, but uh, we'll find out what this brings to the table. Final beer of the evening for me. I usually don't drink a six percenter for the final beer of the evening for me, but he sent it to me, and I'm gonna get this uh, get this reviewed and see what uh, these guys have got going on there. Uh, so. Uh, We've got the ABV at 6%, we've got the IBUs at 25 and on the bottom of it, it says Red Rum 27-127. Don't have a fucking clue what that's supposed to mean. They have a dating machine, but they choose to put that silly ass information instead of putting a month day and a year on it. So, probably would not buy this beer for two reasons. First of all, it's a 6 percenter and a, a stout, which I don't buy. And having a date that's basically irrelevant or undecipherable to me. So, uh, but we're going to review it and see what we're going to get from this. Uh, we've got the ABV, the IBUs, and whatever that on the bottom is supposed to mean. I don't have any idea. So, it's only a little 12 ounce can. So, let's get it into the glass. And see if it tastes like a candy bar or a Reese's cup in the glass. It is pretty dark coming out of the can. Now I am going to swirl it around a little bit. Maybe that will increase the head and get everything that's out of the bottom of the can. But it's only a 12 ouncer. So this glass will definitely hold that. We shall see. Like I said, I don't buy 6% stouts. About a finger of head on that pour. It looks good. It's pretty dark in the glass. Let's find out. Let's get it to the nose. Ooh. 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 It does smell like a Reese cup in the glass. I am impressed. Chocolate. Peanut butter. I am super impressed with the aroma of this beer for a six percenter. This absolutely smells like a Reese cup in the glass. And, and that's what I'm getting on the nose. Chocolate and peanut butter. Hmm. It smells, it smells pretty damn impressive for a six percenter. I'm expecting to have a very thin mouthfeel for a six percenter, but let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Mr. Walton. Thank you. I do appreciate it, sir. Ah, awesome aroma. Absolutely outstanding aroma. Let's find out if it's got any taste. Let's dive in.
It does. The peanut butter and chocolates were there. Now, if you're looking for a low ABB, which when I say low, 6%, dessert in a glass, this may be a, a good one here. The, the peanut butter and chocolate are there, guys. They're outstanding in the aroma and in the taste. For 6%, it's very, very impressive. Not something that I would probably pick up and purchase, but that means you can have a couple of these and not be too inebriated. It's not like you're drinking 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 percent or something. This is a 6 percent candy bar in a glass. So, if you're looking for a low ABV candy bar in a glass, this may be the one. That is pretty damn good for 6%. I am impressed. I am very impressed. I am unimpressed with what they pat on the bottom of it. Red rum 27-127. What's that supposed to mean? You have a dating machine and you put that crap on the bottom of it instead of putting a month, day, and a year. What's up with that? What's up with that? So, uh. Milk stout, that means it's been brewed with lactose. These guys are out of Fort Worth, Fort Worth, Texas. They have a dating machine, but they choose to print something up other than the month, day, and the year. I'm not impressed with that. So, uh, tell me something that I can decipher by looking at the bottom of the can. If it was sitting on the shelf and I looked at that date code, I would put it right back up on the shelf. For two reasons. One, because it's a 6% and not at least a 7%, which is into my go-to buy beers. And I can't decipher that code. I don't know. I don't have to go to the website. I don't have to try to figure something out. You have a dating machine. Put the month, day, and the year on it instead of putting something stupid like that. That means absolutely nothing to me. And I don't want to have to go to your website to try to figure out when in the hell you put this beer in the can. So, it's going to cost you. So, we're going to sip on this. It's right out of the fridge and see what we end up with. A very tasty beer. Very disappointed in what they printed on the bottom. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping up for a while now. A very tasty dessert beer. You know, the ABV format, uh, 6%. Uh, it's a tasty beer. I mean, it's exactly what they describe it to be. It is peanut butter and chocolate. That's what I'm getting on it. Uh, but it is a low ABV beer. It's, it's 6%. Probably not something that I would pick up. But it is, if you're looking for something in a 6%, not a 7, 8, 9, 10, 12%, this is a good one. This is very good. The only plus I got about this is what they're dating, how they're dating it. You don't know what that means. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go to their website trying to figure out what that code means. They have a machine that's able to put a month, day, and a year, and they choose not to. That lets them sell more beers, and that's what they're in the game to do. But I'm in the game to find out when it is put in the can or the bottle. And I don't have any idea. By that code that they're putting in there and I don't have you shouldn't have to go to the website to figure that out guys if they're stamping something on the bottom of the can it should tell you month in a year or at least a vintage or something uh, on the can or the bottle so that's just me it's just my OCD final choke still smells like a Reese's peanut butter chocolate peanut butter final choke A very tasty beer, guys. For a six percenter, peanut butter chocolate are there, guys. It is very, very tasty. If you're looking for a low ABV style candy bar in a glass, this is a good one. It is. But I think these guys need to do something different on their dating process. So, to me, guys, uh, I wouldn't purchase this beer because of the ABV and the dating that they were using. But it is a dessert. It's just candy bar in the glass. It, it is. No doubt about it. So, uh, they've got that nailed down. Uh, 
very easy, very smooth, alcohol is well hidden, tasty beer, tasty beer. But to me guys, since they're doing that stupid ass dating process, uh, I don't think I'm going to give it to A. Uh, B plus to me, 88 for me on this, guys. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 86, so I'm giving it a better number than those guys are giving it. And over to Untap, they have it at 3.95. It's a B plus. I'm giving it a B plus. So we're in agreement here between me and Untapped. It's a B plus beer. We need to see what's going on. So with that being said, if you've had this one from Panther Island Brewing, Sweet Fang, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge or the humidor. See you then.